Welcome to my lightning talk. My name is Christine. Um, I work at Isovalent, which is one of the founding companies of Cilium, which is an open source project, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but I care about the open source ecosystem a lot, and I focus around service meshes. Um, and prior to Isovalent, I worked at Google doing um, service mesh stuff as well. So get going fast with Cilium and Argo. So briefly, the agenda today is going to be touching upon what is Cilium, if you're not familiar, uh, DevOps and developers, how this is a kind of beneficial ecosystem here, an example we'll walk through, and then lastly, some takeaways and what's next. This is a lot for a slide really early in the morning on a Monday as well. But Cilium in itself is a networking tool that leverages eBPF, Extended Berkeley Packet Filter. And we use Cilium as a CNI in the Kubernetes landscape. But it's also so much more than that. It's also the service mesh. It also has security, such as Tetragon. It also has Hubble as an observability tool. So this open source tool that leverages a powerful kernel module uh, is used in many ways across different cloud providers. So I'm kind of going to go to the left field now um, with DevOps and developers. So of course, as you all know at Argo, uh, GitOps is the source of truth where you have this codified um, practice of having your repo represent what infrastructure you have. So this is kind of parallel to the application being reflected in the repo and the app of apps pattern. Uh, a talk earlier was talking about this, and so it's having your root app and being able to declarative, declaratively uh, have your child apps be referenced by this root app. And so kind of where does Cilium land in this? Something that I'm really passionate about is the Gateway API project, which is a SIG networking group under Kubernetes. And basically, it's the ingress succession. Um, so now that the ingress is going to be maintained, the Gateway API is something that is more flexible. And I will talk a little bit more about that. But Cilium has a very strong implementation. And with Cilium and eBPF, you have metrics that you can monitor. So it pairs really nicely with Argo rollouts. This is an example diagram on the side here of some of the uh, resources that are available with the Gateway API. So now there's that clear line between your cluster operators or your platform ops and then your application developers, which are empowered to you create their own HTTP routes, gRPC routes, et cetera. And so now you have the separate resources that application developers can touch within their Kubernetes model. OK, so we're just going to walk through a, an example. This is a lightning talk. I wish I could do a live demo, but I don't think I've made enough sacrifices to uh, the demo gods. So we're just going to talk through it. So we have our devs touching their own repo, for example, that uh, maintain front end. And you have your platform ops, which maintain apps and their charts within their own repo. And then you have your cluster, dev staging prod. And it's running Argo CD and Cilium. So whenever a dev makes a commit to the repo and there's like a version two of front end, for example, the changes are reflected inside the infrastructure. So that's where your root app is residing. And then it will be able to push those changes to the cluster. Now, something that will be cool if you use Gateway API and Cilium is that you can have your devs also make commits directly to the platform ops uh, repo as well. So then if they want to have a rollout that's occurring, so version two, we want to do a canary rollout. They can commit, and then platform ops are able to approve any changes because it has that nice GitHub uh, or Git source of truth. And so now you can declaratively manage your resources for Gateway API. So of course, the power of being declarative is giving the power back to the devs and the platform ops. We're keeping them separate, but then they're also empowering each other. There's a source management and deployment management strategy, which is still kind of developing. And it's nice that Argo CD and Argo rollouts are so flexible and allows you to um, create this architecture in this ecosystem. Uh, it's organized for teams. Now you, only ha you can have people who should only create resources who have that power, but then also people who can approve such changes to your repo. There's, of course, version control, reconciliation of someone to delete something by accident or something gets rolled out by accident, you can roll back. 
And lastly, again, the Gateway API. I would stress that you check it out. Um, and the, the yeah, Argor website also has uh, resources on how the plugin works with, gate, uh, with Argo rollouts. And I have links at the end, which are right here. So these slides are uploaded. Uh, you don't have to take pictures if you don't want. So if you can check them out and schedule, that's cool. But I would say try out Cilium. Uh, it's so much more than a, a just CNI. It's also a service mesh, and it's really powerful. And check out eBPF as well if that is something that is uh, tickling your interest. And also the Gateway API, a project that I love so dearly. So. Um, please get involved, give feedback, and uh, with that all being said, thank you so much. <laughs>